Hello and welcome everyone to For the King 2. This is Chapter 3, The Glittering Mines, Episode 3. Glad to have you all here. Last we left off, we had just finished off clearing out the seaport. The minecarts are on their way, and we have uh, we have gained a new raft. Let's see, where are we at here? There we go. So, we're heading across the water here. And, uh, I don't actually know which town to go for first. Since those are actually the the objectives of the game, or of, of this specific game, although the minecarts, they spawn in various different locations, and then they start trekking towards the, uh, trekking towards the different ports here. So let's see, ports, we've got this one over here, this one up here, and I assume there's one further down, because I'm not seeing it. Ah, there. Oh, I see, so the port's right over there, huh? Maybe that's where we should have first. Did it say... It suggested Gronberg first, which is really awkward, because that's like really far away, but I can definitely try going to Gron Gronberg. Anyways, let's uh, let's hop in our boat here, and let's do some scouting while we, while we uh, wait for the minecarts to show up. Uh, can everyone get in here? Not quite. Friar, if you could pick up our herbalist, that would be wonderful. Anything on this little island here? It's a merling ship. And it's disappeared. So the minecarts are arriving. The new minecart is on its way to a port. Make sure you stop it. Very well. Let's see. Where is it going towards? We can actually look um, at its progress just by clicking these little icons here. So this will take us to wherever the cart is. And then this one here will take it to the port that it's on its way to. So I think that's where we gotta go. And what's over there? Sanctum of Haste, huh? Alrighty then. Friar, do you still have your torch? Let's get that for the extra scout range. What level is this ghost ship? It's level 2. Kinda don't want to fight that right now. What about these guys? They're also level 2. It seems like uh, those guys are gonna be more difficult. Over in Grunberg. I hope we're not going to a more difficult area. There's a suspicious mound here, huh? What is this? I guess we just got a powder keg. wonder if that's used for, like, blowing up the minecarts or something. I wouldn't actually know. And we have another one, huh? Lots of these suspicious mounds lying around.
Hmm. What if I were to engage this thief? Uh, wow, learn pool. We've got a other thing here. We're fighting two people here. I hope we can manage. That is unfortunate. Our Pathfinder got uh, left out there. Get her into relative safety, please. Uh, these guys all have a little bit of armor. What can this do? It doesn't say anything. Like, it doesn't say if it does damage or what. Let's go ahead and kill this thief. Because they're always annoying. Uh, Shepard. What do you got for us? A little bit of damage. Not much, but a little bit. You've got your hammer, Mr. Fryer. If you don't mind, not quite. Not quite. I guess I should start moving everyone closer together, huh? Ow! You can really target like that, even though these two are both behind guard. Okay, if I don't put a path between them, they can't... Well, I guess he could still target this space and get my Pathfinder, but... Alright, let's close in here. Let's just do a regular shot. That'll be fine. Do as much damage as I can to this guy. And Mr. Fryer, if you would be so kind to guard our Pathfinder. That would be much appreciated. Cool. Stunned him. I haven't actually really used much stuns, mostly because they don't do damage. But sometimes it is worth it, because if we if he doesn't move there, then we just get a free chance to uh, attack him again. Alright. I would love to be able to move these people. But... That's what I was saying last episode too. Is like I would love a feature that we, if we were that like, oh hey, I want to ready an action like in D and D or whatever, where it's like, I want to do this, but I want this person to act first. So can I put myself behind this person? Just instead of a skip your turn, can we have like a wait option? Like that. That would be. That would be, like. Like, skip turn. Okay. Can we instead just... Like, I don't know if it's another option or what, but primary action to move ourselves to either... To, like, right here. Like, right in between these two. Like, moving yourself in the player order and the character turn order. Like, th that's something I would like to see in the game. Can I get another stun? Okay, we've got time then. Nice. Oh, but our, our friar didn't move. I didn't want, to, want him to move because, yeah. Alright. Uh, I guess I'll use this moment to see... Does Cure work on curses? No, it doesn't. Okay. I figured I'd try to figure it out.
I... What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to position for a good party heal, and... I'm just not very positioned properly here. Okay, let's try that. Let's try another stun. Wow, three in a row. Nice. Now, with our last God's Beard. A little awkward, and we need to go grab more of those. Probably should have, uh, if it wouldn't have taken a bunch of time, I should have stopped in the, uh, stopped in town before heading out. We got that party heal, now we can finish him off. Let's see. Go ahead, Mr. Fryer. Take some gold. Leprechaun cloth, huh? Armor, resistance, evasion, gold multiplier, luck, steel immunity. Alright. May as well take it. Except uh, two of our peoples are shirtless, so let me just change that. You can hide. Uh, you... I guess you're technically not shirtless, but I, no, you're shirtless. You just have a board there. <laughs> okay, let's actually pick up party here. And I think we fight these guys. Oh yeah, I guess our, uh, I, oh, I guess we leveled up, so we didn't really need to, uh, uh, yeah, we really didn't need to party heal there. Let's see, Pathfinder, you can give the other one to the Herbalist. She's gonna need them. And... Yeah, honestly, let's uh, go ahead and fight here. What? This guy just spawned on the sea without a boat. Oh, cool! We're on the raft! Alright, time to die, Mr. Merling. Nice, and the daze means that he can't actually. Uh, the daze is supposed to mean he can't reload. Daze means you cannot take secondary actions. Secondary actions is indeed a reload, good sir. That is not how it's supposed to be played. Unless he has multiple secondary actions, I suppose that is possible. It is possible they gave him multiple. Ooh, a fine fire sword, and it's one-handed. I think I gotta equip this one. It'll be less accurate, but it's got the crit chance to compensate. Eventually, eventually I'll find a wand for him. I could try ambushing this guy. But let's just fight it out. These guys have a lot of health. Okay. I guess it's just one at a time, huh? That's what we got here.
Alright, let's taunt. She does the least damage out of everyone. Good thing our friar got a new cool sword. Oh no. It's only 73. You don't gotta do me like that. Yikes. Oh, uh, first move, please, herbalist. Behind our wonderful shepherd. These guys can throw curses, huh? Well, that's a, that's a, one of her main stats dis destroyed. That's a lot of curses. Oh, oh my. Really? Okay. These guys do a lot of damage. Not good news. doing here or what should I do open these two up look for a kill it's possible that all three of them hit a different target it's possible that all three of them hit the same target let's see Okay, I guess I can revive now. Probably should have revived my person in the front, huh? I should have passed the Scholar's Word over to the Friar as well. What happens if the shepherd taunts from behind? Eh, they ignore it, huh? Cool. Oh, nice. They're just all doing in their entangle moves. I am totally fine with that. Looks like we got another chance to kill them. Tactics, okay. Neither of these people can move, but it'll be useful. Yeah, moving is moving and fleeing are unavailable. Okay, that's a visual bug. I was gonna say, why does this Seth Shepard still say that she's taunting? Okay. Uh, that wasn't great, but I like it. Go ahead, Pathfinder. Move on to there. Get that damage, please. Uh, Shepard should probably armor up. Wow, why have I, why is she not able to? Like, she has missed a lot of armor ups, like everyone that I've done. I don't even know how much armor it gives. Um, ah. Party heal is a secondary action. I, I I like that. I approve. There we 
go. Two more to deal with. And they're back to doing... Oh, this one's, this one's attacking. I was going to say they're back to doing their entangle moves. And let's just uh, kill these guys. Unfortunately, our tactics tile disappeared. That was kind of short-lived. Come on, heavy strike. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we just kill one here. Good, good. There's only one of you left. Oh, intelligence, huh? Well, you're not using intelligence right now, but it'll be good to cure that later. Oh, hey, the other... Or two of the shepherd's curses disappeared. That's odd. I've never seen that before. The curses just disappearing on their own. Like she had three of them. And should have this finished off right here. Still have one god spirit as well. Uh, an Aurelia. I don't think that it cures curses. Hey, I might be wrong, but I don't think it does. Uh oh. Okay, it is a chest. Not a mimic. We're okay. Let's see. Oh, wait. There's someone with a gold multiplier now. Pathfinder has gold multiplier. And bog wraps, huh? Wet, fire, acid immunity. Evasion. Movement bonus. HP regen. For a rural mule, yes please. And a poison ring. Is that going to our Pathfinder or our Shepherd? Go ahead, Shepherd. Probably want it on the Pathfinder, but it's a it's a toss up. It's possible yeah, our Pathfinder already has the blood ring, so never mind. say we're getting off here. And then... Oh, hey. What is this? A level 2 crypt. That's tempting. Let's see. Enter party. It is a dungeon. Oh, nice. Finally found some alcohol. And unfortunately, it's only an iron spirit. Uh, this is Herbalist, huh? These two repair boat. These two reclaim boat. And please to also, you're stuck. Well, that's awkward. Well, looks like I'm going to wait another round or two on the crypt here, then. Let's get everyone fighting a couple things. Uh, Shepard does not have support range, cannot join. Do we need Shepard for this? We probably should bring Shepard. Huh. 
Oh, and a learned pool over there. Those those things are good to find. I, one over there, one over there, over there as well. Okay, let's fight the Swamp Chomper here. And probably just find a couple other things to fight together as the three of them. And then our herb list is going to find, or going to grab, like stop in a town, and then we're going to bring everyone in with the crypt. Trying to make the most of uh, our movement. Yeah, good thing she doesn't have her awareness cursed again. Nice. It's on fire. For an extra five damage. And a vitality curse, huh? That's not what you like to see. Alright. Nice to done, Pathfinder. Good crits. Now, I guess we gotta stay together if we wanna fight together, huh? Hey, a sheep has joined the party. Ambush. Uh oh. Fire, quick! Oh, wait. The fire is in there. So. Oh, Shepard. Uh, Friar, while we're getting ambushed over there, oh, we can't. Oh, okay. The Friar is the one that's two tiles away. The Pathfinder is adjacent, but needs the bow. Okay, uh, Friar, I just equipped you with something I didn't want you to, right? Yes. Okay, grab your fire sword. And we must defend here. There's two of them. Who do we go after first? I think just the witch, huh? Makes the most sense to me. Ah. Uh. What do you got for us, which then which? Yeah, an entangle. Well, we don't have entangle immunity on him. We do have poison immunity, however. Okay, let's uh, take out that witch. Thank you. Now we just got this snake. Uh, technically, he has this cracked rank too. Damage is damage. It's not much, but it's there. Ow. That's starting to hurt a little bit. Nice. Well done, Pathfinder. Doing real good. And he still gets another attack. Unfortunate. But that's the end of the snake there. And go ahead and remember. Give money to the Pathfinder. Okay. Okay, if I can beat or sneak past this scary ghost. I... Oh, wow. That's not what I like to see. Not at all.
Oh wait. It doesn't have resistance and I do. We're okay. We're totally fine. I got scared from nothing. And we're also cursed immune. So ha. I win. And I'm gonna rub it into your face, Mr. Scary Ghost. So, as soon as he's down, we head over to... Oh? He did damage. Alright. As soon as we finish up here, we head to town. And then, next person to go will bring us all into the crypt. I definitely should try buying some herbs while I'm here. Alright, listen up. Things are moving fast. Minecarts are buzzing around, transporting goods from the mines to the ports. We need to put a stop to them. This is a critical part of the Queen's plan, and we cannot let it, let it... We can't afford it to let it continue. Our only hope is to take the fight to her. Sabotaging the minecarts is the best chance to disrupt her operations. We need to target as many of them as we can and throw a wrench in her grand scheme. Here are some powder kegs to get you started. Ever use a tinder pouch? It's the same idea, but it'll blow your arms off if you're not careful. Handle with care. Oh. Keep an eye out around the island. There are more supplies buried out of sight of the Queen's Guard. Incoming. Queen's Guard are closing in. Pretend you never laid eyes on me. Oh, yep, there they are. Three of them. So we got four powder kegs from that. Alright. Let's head to the market. There is a calming pipe. We're gonna buy all three God's Beards, however. And that's essentially all we can afford. What about the quest board here? A lightning ring. That's cool. Shock throw, shock row, overload. What's overload? Resist down multiple targets. Midnight? Two midnight mints and a black candy, huh? I've never seen multiple rewards like that. Or... Oh. A... Wow, what is this? A mystery quest. Solving an ancient puzzle in the swamp for an unknown reward. This is some cool stuff here. I'm gonna accept, accept this quest. Because I like that idea. Usually I'm like, ah no, scared of the unknown, but I'm going for it. Alright, minecart number two is on its way. Let's check on the minecart number one here. Uh oh, there it is. Right by that ancient puzzle. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to cut it off here, huh? Uh, Miss Pathfinder, you do have a powder keg. Okay. What's the idea here? Probably want to stop this guy, huh? Should we wait to do that next time? Alright, well... We'll head in here. I still haven't grabbed anything from that uh, statue there. Let's see, Scholar's Wart from the Shepherd. Let's give it over to the Pathfinder. And let's enter the crypt. We'll see how this goes. Yeah. 
You didn't do very much there, sheep. Oh, nice. No curses for me. Thank you. Uh, the friar... Mr. Fryer, why do you have a boomerang still on you? Let's see. Bat, goblin scrapper. Okay, I probably want to shoot the pixie, huh? Dang. If only our herbalist had some AoE abilities here. And I can't see the shepherd's health. Oh, there it is. That's very low. Okay, so in that case. Oh, that was the shepherd. I did not mean to do that. Wow. Why can. Oh, right. She's got Vitality Curse now. Like, why can't you hit or use a single armor down there? Okay, heal these guys up. And go ahead and put a ray on the Goblin Scrapper. Wow, these guys keep dodging everything, huh? I'd love to yeah I'd love to be able to move here but apparently I started the fight with the boomerang that was a fatal flaw and Friar's got intelligence cursed and I forgot he's actually got a shield that is using his intelligence This fight's not going nearly as well as I hoped. Triple curse on that shepherd. Poor girl. Alright. Armor up. You can't fail that many times, right? Okay. Put that ray on the scrapper. Yes, please actually hit. Thank you. Go ahead and move. And then use a... Fire Strike on Scrapper or Scary Ghost. Oh my. I could have just killed one and... Yikes. These guys' evasion is... Uh... Wait a second. I missed the heal on the shepherd. Are you okay, shepherd? Are you okay? I can't even do anything about it. Alright, I just hope you don't get targeted, shepherd. Please hit. Thank you. Uh oh. Okay, we're okay. I would love to be able to heal my herbalist as well. Ah, 
Oh, really? They can dodge and keep their protection? Okay, time to equip the, uh... Wow. Oh, he's got armor down. Or, I mean, attack down. Well, good thing I don't need the attack right now. Oh! Okay, we only cleared two of the three protections. It's enough to get us started, at least. These guys in their evasion. Gee. Ow. Uh, need to move over, Shepard. Protect Herbalist, please. No, please, no. Oh, good dodge. Honestly, Pathfinder. What if you just move? That was the wrong spot. Oh well. I should have moved her over to this spot or something. Just, just act as another target for their targeting system or whatever. Oh, good crit. That would not have killed otherwise. Thank goodness our herbless is going to be alive. Alright, let's see. Just uh, keep on attacking, I guess. Oh, I see. That one's still protected. Not anymore, though. That's something, at least. And now we're doing next to no damage. I forgot he had attack down. That fire's gonna do something, though. Yep, there we go. Good dodge, good dodge. I don't think we have to worry about that pixie now. Good dodge, Pathfinder. Thank you. Nice. Good kill. Fire procs again here. Kills the pixie. Yes. There we go. Alright, just the ghost left. And you can crit, right? Pathfinder? No, not quite. Oh, I should have went on the other one. Or uh, went on the uh, tactics tile. That would have been better. Alright. Well, we take seven damage from it. Not a huge deal. It's something. Not... Not too, not too big of a deal. Oh, it goes to the Pathfinder. Ah! Okay, Friar, go ahead and please equip those. Those will be good for you. Scholars, Warts. Oh, Herbless has two of them, huh? Ah, oh, nice. What do we got? Spice drum? Good. Okay, so there's one more fight, then probably something else, and then the chest. 
Oh. Uh. Kinda wanna heal there. Uh oh, my shocked cube. I don't like those cubes. Cubes in this game, especially considering that the way that speed works now. Like, it used to be that, you know, you could go twice before someone else. Now it is just the order in which you go is based on speed and not how many, like... Okay, if I'm to, ex to explain this a little bit better without uh, jumbling my words too much. If someone has really high speed, someone else has really low speed, the one with high speed might go twice before the other person. But because now it's in different, like, turn order and turn rounds. Like, for example, the cubes and the slimes and all those sort of things, they would have, they'd have, like, really low speed. So that you would be able to attack them a couple times. Like, everyone might get a, a full, like, two rounds to actually damage the, uh, damage the cube before we actually, uh, had to encounter it. Yikes. Okay, it is immune to fire, but... Okay, good. Ah! One HP. Is it worth trying to hit it with our herbalist? Yeah, oh, I had focus. That, that would have been better. the bat. 12 damage. 15 total with the wing attack, huh? What is with this Pathfinder? Your main stat's at 76, and it's only two slots. Please hit. Yes. Nice. Oh, I guess we should be probably protecting that Pathfinder, huh? Please be okay. They missed. Thank you, Bat, for going after our Friar instead. Bat, it'll do damage, but not a lot. Okay, can we kill that cave bat now? No, no, we can't, huh? Oh well. Just gotta keep, uh, keep, hit, keep hitting them, I guess. Good block there, fire. Fire strike. Not gonna get the fire, but a little bit of damage still. Seven. And this should kill, maybe? There we go. Alright. Right. Pathfinder takes the money. Yes. Better. Smoke bomb. Go ahead there, Pathfinder. Pegs Kane. Debuff group. Wonderful. It's a splash damage uh, move, and it does... Well, 
well over double the amount of damage that uh, this walking stick does. And 10% crit, crit chance, because why not? I will take that anytime. That's wonderful. But oh my, there are so many curses on that shepherd. And we got two on the friar as well. Okay, everyone's got decent health. What do we have in the next room? It's a treasure chest. But is it a treasure chest or is it a mimic? It is a treasure chest. Wonderful. Goblin helm, huh? Honestly, just... Oh, I guess we lose out on armor, huh? Uh, but the support range is is going to be great on that fryer. Go ahead and take that. Sturdy heater, huh? That is straight up better, and it's using vitality. And hags rags. Uh, is that going to be better for our... Herbalist? Perhaps. How does she look now? Alright. Alright. They each got their funky little hats. Alright. We shouldn't have anything left to do. This should be a chest and then we'll be finished the crypt. Alright, go ahead and open it, Friar. Just because I decided that you're going to be the one. Take the gold, Pathfinder. We got some more lore books. Permanent increase to evasion, huh? Is that plus two? Plus three? Plus four? Plus two. It's actually not all that much. It's a bit. True. And feathered hat, huh? Go ahead, Shepard. It's not very much different than your usual hat. Okay, now we gotta figure out how to stop this minecart here. What do we got here? Another suspicious mound. Alright, so I'm going to put our Pathfinder here. I have no idea how these things work. Cragstone, hello. Okay. That's a swamp snake that's level 3. Pirate hideout, that's level 4. Kinda concerned about this other minecart though. Where is this one going? Okay, it's going to this one. We're fine. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine. Okay, let's stay close enough that we can get into fights if anyone, if any show up. And our Pathfinder is going to be in charge of finishing off that, ooh, Bog Drinker. I'm glad we went to the, uh, to the north then. His Bog Drinker is going to be, what does he, what does he do? I forgot to actually look. Mr. Bog Drinker, what do you do? Spawns poison hexes and ac acid hexes in the overworld. Okay, yeah, he'll be messing with us a bit. 
So this mine minecart is going up this way, which means it's going on this path. So one, two, three, four. So the trick is, I think, to put this down here. It takes four rounds to explode. Or does it explode when it run when it's ran into? I have no idea. Just arrived and no and in uh just in time no less. Wait. Oh, you've arrived just in time no less. That's it. I've scoured this side of the island, mapping nearly every twist and turn of the minecart route. Consider it, consider it your shortcut to quicker dis decisions and strategic advantage. I've got some supplies that might come in handy. A bit reluctant to part with them, but I suppose it's for the greater good. Take your pick and make sure you put it to good use. Wonderful. We got some extra vision here. Rusty compass, cracked spyglass, or boots of speed. I'll take the boots of speed any day. Thank you kindly. And we got stuff in the market too here. We do have stuff in the market, but I'll save that for the start of next episode. And we'll take a peek at the quest board as well. Thank you everyone for joining us. It's a pleasure having you here. I hope this barrel explodes while it when it runs into it. Otherwise, I'm not sure how it works or what we're supposed to do. If it takes four turns, yeah, I don't know. Oh no, that's four rounds. Okay, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Yeah, thank you everyone for joining us. A pleasure having you all. Uh, check out the streams when you're um, whenever you're available. It would be uh, very nice to have you. If you're interested in more For the King content, we are streaming on Friday nights for uh, of For the King, as well as Skyrim on Monday nights and Wednesday nights is our Conan streams. So, uh, uh, yeah, and that's from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Central Standard Time. So, if you're interested, come and uh, join us, hop in, and say hi. And uh, I think that'll be all. If uh, please. Drop a like on the video, subscribe just to uh, stay notified of more content, and we'll see you here for the next one. Thank you everyone.